People have argued across this country that uh, we allow politics to find its way to permeate, as it were, uh, every fiber of our being nationally. How true is that? But let's uh, try to create a perspective now. The APC primaries are behind us as far as the event is concerned. <coughs> but the consequences, as I said to one of my guests off camera this morning, the bruises, that battle left, because it was actually a battle uh, which we are going to get into uh, in the beats. The bruises it left uh, obviously are yet to be healed because we are seeing uh, a truckload of defections from our party. Of course, defections have been uh, a two-way traffic in the last couple of weeks. But let's uh, pay a bit more attention to what has happened in the APC so far, what it says about internal politicking and uh, ultimately the implications that has for Nigerian politics as a whole. I'm joined by two young, brilliant gentlemen. They are both politicians and they are proud to say so any day. Uh, just to my immediate left here, I have Ahmed uh, Mamudu, a politician. Thank you for coming on the program this morning. Thank you for having me, Uyi. Good morning, viewers. And next to him is the man in gray suits. Uh, he, he helps me create uh, a great <laughs> contrast on the show this morning. Thank you. <laughs> uh, good to have you, uh, Comrade Colin Samadhi. Thank uh, you from, very uh, much. SSA to immediate past governor of Edo State. Good to have you on the show. Thank you very much. Good morning, viewers. Great. I, I think I, I'm excited enough to start with you this morning because uh, you just defected. Uh, let's uh, begin the discussion from there. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Um, ordinarily, uh, every good child mm. you must take your time to weigh in your decision mm. before you do so um, it was not what ordinarily I would have loved to do as uh, it were but circumstances the impunity the game is over system the unhealthy disposition of most of our leaders have indeed led to this and one my major reason the number one reason why i have to was the fact that the president has refused to show leadership as he concerns nigeria as he concerns the party as the number one leader of the party people say he's not talking he doesn't want to see or to be heard you need to be heard. It is when you are heard that people will know where you are, how you want it to be. Otherwise, maybe many of us would have stayed put. You know, I, I, I'm going to bump in on you quickly uh, so we can redirect this conversation. Good. You, you had been of the APC stock. Sure. Exactly. Up until yesterday, at least formally. Sure. It will appear when people defect, there is, there is a front they want to sell to the public. The irony is there's, they, they have a bunch of grievances, the nurse, which in reality form the basis for their decision to defect. But what you have told us so far is that you defected because the president has not been able to provide forward-looking leadership. Sure. And you just said in category, I mean, category, categorically that he has not been speaking up about issues. Sure. He doesn't want to be seen. He doesn't want to be heard. Yeah. yeah it, does that also point to the dysfunction we see in internal politics? in this country because you had been there done that you, you you have an idea at least how it works inside sure sure you know i will run for Oredo council chairman you know where you have to buy form and do some other needful mm. as being an aspirant you know when the leader tells you go ahead the system will be free for all or this is how it's going to be and at the end of the day different it completely happens these same people who claim not to play a role in being biased are diving it to your face. They make you know they are somewhere. And they do it without records to anything. So that alone is usually a problem. And it must create an eternal crisis in any political party. Now, the crisis that had metaphorced in the APC as it regards the primary. Though it has started gradually from different states, you know, especially during different local government elections that have been held, some by elections, the away candidates were being were emerging. Ordinarily, people were thinking very soon, very soon, things would get better. But it become worse, like what you saw in the last primaries. Though there is no perfect system, no perfect institution, but let there be a near perfect. 
at least if a party can organize itself to 55 percent you can give them okay seven over ten six over ten but in a situation where it's zero over nothing there is a problem so so on a scale of 100 this is zero over 100 zero over nothing that's your opinion as it concerns that, the primaries that, that, that's your that assessment has been that's your and assessment. eternal democracy in the party that is your assessment of course mm. of course not just because i have left about a year ago i have started this cry even before a year ago i have started this cry on the president one the the squad that are assisting you are not doing you enough both at managing the party and managing the government i was those who were who brought the issue of second half when you have you know a football team when when you play to a certain level go is not forthcoming you must do some substitution this is an administration that formed this government very late and also refused to change any of his cabinet owing to the fact that they are unable to deliver whether on power whether on infrastructures on roads on education just name it nothing productive has come you will not expect a progressive young mind like me to continue to sing hallelujah on the basis of nothing not that the pdp i am aligned with today would say to be best but they have also proven in the recent time that the errors of yesterday would not repeat itself for now i am very pleased to find myself with those who want to articulate on how we can set nigeria on a direct path some persons even at that party level really was not hoping article will emerge with the way article will emerge see a clean calm democratic system going on it was it was needed that people like me should join in articulating for there, Nigeria. There are there are Nigerians across this country who do not share your position on how the uh, the, the the process that, sure, that, that the, 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 exactly the process that produced uh, uh, former Vice President Atiku as the flag bearer of the party. Maybe that's a discussion we want to uh, put on the shelf for some other time. But for today, there's somebody here in this studio who doesn't share your opinion. Sure. Uh, yeah. And that happens to be you, Ahmed. Yes. You are a member of the APC as of today. I am. You follow the primaries. Yes. You see how they all turned out. In some yes. cases, they were violent. Yes. Up until this point, we're having protests pro and against the national chairman of your party. Yes. All right. We still have people who have re refused to reconcile with their state governors. Yes. These are party leaders. Mm -hmm. On account of the outcome of those primaries across this country, yes. we have had accusations and counter accusations as to how state governors, sitting governors, that is, tried to, or in some cases, even successfully hijacked the whole process yes. in their own interests. What's your assessment of internal politicking? Because you are a member of the APC. Thank you, Ui. Um, let's, 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 let's make a foundation that makes it easier for us to have a robust discussion. Mm -hmm. We are in a system where the primaries, like you said, have been concluded. Right. And if we want to give an assessment, we're talking about 30, 30 states mm -hmm. in Nigeria. We have a situation where we have conflicts probably in five states. Mm. Most, I mean, I'm talking about the substantial conflicts that you are referring to. Okay. So off the bat, we are talking about at least 75% progress, mm. which means the conflict is limited to a smaller number than the greater number that have been concluded successfully. If that is our foundation, then we have to come to the understanding that democracy is the expression of man in trying to get power. And the party must act as a regulator between these contending forces and try and balance them to the best interest of the larger population of Nigerians. I think the APC has done a fantastic job in moving away from what we've known as indirect primaries to direct primaries where more people have a voice that will be heard. And of course, when you change a the system, there's bound to be some, some resistance. There's bound to be some kickback. There is bound to be some mistakes. All these things will be ironed out over time. The joy of it is that the expression of the will of the people is still not, has not been suppressed. So anybody that is talking about uh, APC not bringing out a democratic process, I don't think it is either fair or educated. You, you just talked about the, the party being the, in your words, regulator of the political process, especially yes. where it has to do with primaries. Would you say, going by what we had seen in the last uh, couple of weeks or months, the APC 
had played that role effectively? Because you, you are saying that it is limited to just five states. And according to your assessment, we, you, you've been able to record some of the 5% uh, progress. Maybe that's something we really cannot uh, verify here. But, but, but let's see how much of uh, trouble that has caused the party, how much of setback it has ca caused the party. As it stands right now, your national chairman is embattled and the house is divided. And you know what the good book says about the house that is divided. So what's your assessment of that position? Again, Uyi, I will, I will say that we, are, we appreciate a system. We are currently running a democratic system of government mm -hmm. where we allow and encourage robust, robust mm -hmm. participation in the process. We want as many voices to be heard. But ultimately, the party decision will be that where mistakes have been made, corrections will be made, and all the members that are aggrieved will be brought together to work for the success of the party. Mm. There is nothing strange in what we have seen. We have people that are trying to put out their positions. They are trying to articulate themselves. They are trying to gain power, and they want to use this power to better the country. Within your party? Within the party, yes, of course, within the party. And then, of course, outside of the party when we come to the general elections. So I don't see these things as... Even the, 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 the protests against the national chairman, they are a natural occurrence when you have people who are aggrieved. Mm. Are we to tell them they should not protest? No. We are to call them and ask, what is the issue? How do we handle it? And how do we move forward? If we start telling people, shut up, don't come, we don't want to hear what we have to say, then we have a problem. But as long as protest is part of democracy and their voices can be heard, Everybody is free to talk, and we will all listen to each other. That is what a democracy uh, guarantees, and that is what we are practicing in the APC. One of the principal outcomes of these uh, primaries uh, has been the, the, the barrage, as it were, of defections we've seen in the last couple of weeks. Uh, that's not a good thing for the party now, is it? I don't think it's either a good thing or a bad thing because there have been defections in both directions. We, as I'm sure you found out yesterday, we had over 500 people who left the PDP and came into the APC and vice versa. Um, as long as a human being is trying to, has ambition, mm. he will look for the best position he can mm. to articulate that ambition and push it. Mm. So we have no problem with defections one way or the other. We wish everybody good luck. If they are coming in, we we'll work with them. If they are going out, they are not our enemies. They are looking for the interest of Nigerians. That is what all of us believe. And the APC does not find that anybody outside of his fold is an enemy of the country just because they have a different political outlook. No. We all want the progress of this country. And we are happy where people go. And that expression gives them the chance to even articulate better so that governance improves. We don't want a one-party system. That will lead to stagnation. Let all the voices come out and say what they have to say, as clearly as they want to say it. And then we will now look for the best way to serve our country. Okay, you want to add to that, uh, Collins? You want to add something to what you said? Uh, really, I would briefly, on the issue, when you talked about protesting against the national chairman mm -hmm. and all that, you know, I, I really do feel for my friend and my leader. Uh, it's quite unfortunate. When he just came in, he wanted to set a standard. Mm. He wanted to uh, have a people-driven party system. But you know about the Ayana and all that. They have a way of caving the system. They came and they overpowered him. At the end of the day, I don't think the APC have just a state where they had um, um, an open primary. That was people driven. So it, uh, it, was, it, was, it was universally marred by controversy. A lot of nonsense. Mm. Now, when my brother talked about, about just five states, I bet you, out of the 36 states we have in the Federal Republic, APC did not have, outside Castina, maybe one other state. Every other primary that took place in all of the states had issues. Had issues. They are there to see. And that is a complete failure. Now, in the party's so-called constitution, there was, there, there's a session that they have made us to know that they can do a consensus. They would have just gone on 
with the consensualism. And when my brother also talked about uh, uh, APC have a mechanism of bringing people together, you know, those who aspire and later marry with them and make sure everybody work together, uh, the benefit. APC does not have that mechanism. If he doesn't know, he should find out. Till tomorrow in this state, those who contested for counselorship, chairmanship, I am sure and I know very well, is also in extension in the, all over the country as a concise APC. They could not even only once they sent messages to have a kind of a robust discussion, they still by themselves cancelled that same meeting before the swearing in of the council chairman as it were. Just because, you know, when you call to settle in, a, in an arrangement like that where there is no free contest, something may have to go. Either you realign some people or there is just a way you have to discuss. They wouldn't even do that. They don't do it because impunity reigns to the highest. They don't see anybody to matter. And that is what they should learn from. Otherwise, it may be left to just five people in that party. In earnest, because no matter how you try to be disciplined and say you don't want to move, you don't want to realign yourself, you just want to stay put in one place, there are, there are way things begin to happen. Then you must ask yourself some questions, excepting you do not want to grow in such thing you're doing. Because politics, for, just as I said, is, is, is a game of interest which we did extend to the general welfare of the people. Let's bring one extra element to this conversation. It, it will appear that when people defect from one party to another, it's as if the basis has to be because they 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 are personally aggrieved about the ambition not being realized. That's against being concerned sincerely because the interest of the country is not being protected, is not being pursued vigorously and earnestly. Isn't that troubling, really? Uh, I also want to tell you, mm. I have gone to realize after a brief research. If you have ninety people uh, out of a hundred, yes, let's say forty persons leave their party mm -hmm. on the basis of issues only two or three may be very self-centered so every other one has the interest of the country at sure heart. let me tell you the reason for this mm. now you are in a party that is not playing a democratic system for example mm. how do you extend that same party in government to have a system that will benefit the general public. How democratic was the party when you joined? When you joined, good. For example, in the APC, mm. or from the ACN, mm. we came as an opposition with a progressive mind. It was not government in power. There were clear agenda to rescue the country, to do things right from the way it seems to be. Avuna had power. Some persons have not monopolized the system to themselves and not do it just the way it pleases them. Even when you try to encourage them that let's make things right, mm. they see you to be too knowing. They see you, is it only you that, that love Nigeria? And in such a situation, it calls for worry. It calls for being in a midst where many persons, for example, would believe this is how it's being done. Let us do it like that. And you should know how painful it can be to leave a home you have been part of it virtually all your life. Going to another party does not make you the leader of the party they are. Certainly, you are going to kill behind. You are going to start all over. You are going to put in more commitments. You are going to show more capacity to being able to play a role. It just you, you build a house, robbers disturbs you, disturbs you, you leave your house and you become tenant in another safer place, assuming. In order to grow in that environment and try to get the plot and not build in that place. Do you think it's something ordinarily you would have loved to do? Uh, I, I mean, let's talk a bit more about your party and the primaries we, we had seen at the last time. Just yesterday there was protests. Um, some group that supports the president came together they were protesting in the interest of the national chairman of your party and now they're accusing three governors from the southwest sitting governors of being the ones in their words kicking a revolt against the national chairman of your party they have accused governors of ondo ekiti and ogun states of being the ones behind the predicament of the national chairman of the apc sincerely from your position don't you think that all of the happenings within your party, starting from the primaries, 
have been essentially about personalities as against credible electoral process? Um, we, it's a difficult question to answer because personalities are essentially the face of the party. And so when, when you have conflicts like this that you have mentioned, it's sometimes difficult to separate the individual from the party. Mm. But the face of the party currently is Comrade Adams Oshomole. Right. And he's the father of the party. And so all the aggrieved members of the party bring their problems to him. And of course, he will have supporters who feel it is just as much their right to express their support for him mm. as it is for those who want to protest against his perceived actions or inactions. Mm. So this, like I said before, is a robust self-engineering system. It allows for as much participation in, this, in the process and, and make sure that we are aligned with the feelings of people as the issues arise and they are addressed. People, I'm just going to cut you short quickly, uh, if you don't mind. People in your party, both those who are still there and some who have left recently, have talked about impunity and imposition in particular within the ranks of your party. What do these say about the leadership of the national chairman? The, the positions of people who are either winners or losers mm. is to be expected. It is the language of power, it is the language of democracy. The man who wins is not going to tell you there is impunity. He's only going to come from a loser. The only person who is going to tell you the party is not good is the man that has defected. You cannot come from a system that you say was bad, trying to improve, knowing that you wanted to change a previous system and then go back to your vomit and then tell me that you are going to change but, the But system. we hear the other system, as you say now, yes. has improved tremendously. Well, that is left for us to see. Mm. In the general elections, Nigerians will know and decide which direction they want to go. Of course, most people are going to go with the president and they are going to decide that. APC has done so much mm. in such a short time. Remember that we are coming from, if anybody talks about impunity without any sense of irony, it should not be somebody that is supporting PDP. PDP is the height. PDP is the very definition. PDP is the worst form of an expression of impunity that this country has ever seen. You take governance from 1999 up to 2015, and everything fell apart. We had a situation where the Minister of Finance came on air and said the government was borrowing money to pay salaries. And you are talking about impunity. You are talking about loss of confidence. You have no right, no moral right, to come out and pontificate on issues that you know are the worst coming from you. The APC, in this short period of time, has not only taken Nigeria from the brink, from the brink, we lost 11 local governments to uh, insurgency. That part of the country has come back on board. And we are going to expect those people to come out and tell the party, thank you for what you have done. We have pensioners who have been paid. We have infrastructure that is being built. The party is laying the foundation with the leadership of President Buhari and making sure that Nigeria never goes back to Egypt. No, we will never go back. We must move forward. We have had four interventions. It has never happened in the history of the country. Federal government has intervened directly in the states and said, look, take care of your backlog of um, salaries, payments, pensions, bring your, your obligations up to date. And as much encouragement as you want, we will give you. I will tell you something which is um, probably not widely known. Some of the best and most ardent fans of the president are PDP governors. Because they know that when, he, when the matters of the nation and the interest of the people come to the forefront, he puts aside all party issues. So, in essence, what we are saying is, yes, there are areas of conflict, there are places that more needs to be done. Nobody is doubting that. My brother, the comrade here, said the system, the, the, the party is not successful because it has not concluded all. We have not said we are successful because we have concluded everything. But a good number of those um, primaries were concluded successfully. There are places where corrections have to be made. They are being looked at. But the most important thing is that nobody's voice is being suppressed. We all want to hear what the problem is so that we can find lasting solutions and then we can move forward all together. Election year obviously is upon us and 
now we have all of this drama within your party. Uh, going forward, what exactly do you think your party should be correcting now, internally, uh, to avoid uh, a much bigger problem? Because some persons have said all of these issues emanating from uh, how that the primaries conducted in your party didn't turn out well, uh, will just be a matter of time before it turns out to be a bomb in itself. And that's obviously making a reference to the general elections come 2019. Can we say all is well? We can say to the extent that everybody's voice is being heard mm -hmm. and the issues are being addressed as they come up, that all for now is well. The party, like I said earlier, is self-regulating. We will find the areas where there are mistakes that have been made. Mm -hmm. And before the general election, all these voices will be harmonized. We have experienced politicians. We have leaders of thought. We have intellectuals, all that come together in the party. Mm -hmm to express themselves. It is not easy to harmonize the voice of over 50 people and make sure that it is the party's direction that is ultimately projected. But all this will come together with time. And of course, the party is going to provide a united front to present to Nigerians for the 2019 elections. And let's, let me come. Okay, you want to say something quickly? Yes. Uh, my joy today is the fact that Nigerians are not cowards. Nigerians read they see they feel now my brother talked about 11 local government being rescued good the civic responsibility of a government is to protect lives and property right and provide for their needs so what's so special there is a responsibility that need to be carried out it's only in this country we clap for nothing and we stand on where there is nothing because one you tell me he has rescued 11 local government and more than 10 local government have been on stage since his emergence in different manner of violence being poured on them. Nigerians, in short, Hesmet, for example, have dealt with over 25 states in this country. Killing souls and not one person today has been persecuted on the basis of Hesmetism. Now you are talking of security. Do Nigerians feel secure today? That on the streets of Benin, on the streets of Lagos, on the streets of everywhere, all over, you cannot move freely as a citizen. Is there any, any security there? Go and check the Nigerian police. Since the emergence of this government, tell me with which area have they been equipped. Apart from Lagos State government who are buying helicopter and some other gadgets through their own internally generated revenue. Are you going to tell me the federal government seems to be acting as a chief security officer? Of, of the people? Certainly no. Now you talked about infrastructure. In what area of infrastructure has the president built? Is he on basis of patching Lagos to, that have been on different budget for many years? Still up to today that is not complete? Or is he Abuja Road from um, 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 Kogi down? Or from Okbila towards the other end? No, like which infrastructure? Is it school that the federal government has now built that we now have Federal government technical major schools or new university? Is it infrastructure that he has talked on? No. Is it now you talk about pensioners? Which of the pensioners are they the one in Togo or the one in Ghana? Because the pensioners in Nigeria today are crying and they have kept crying. Now you talk about federal government having intervention on states to pay salary. Is this what we are supposed to be talking about? Does federal government have its own source of getting its own money different from the the, 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 the money for the federation as it were? Federal government have borrowed more than 11 trillion naira within three years at the detriment of the masses. Is it no salary they are borrowing for? Because I have not seen any police reform. I have not seen civil service reform. I have not seen anything cardinal to be point on the federal government led by Mr. President. Now, what area are we applauding him? Now, you talked about moving from to the other party. How best can they be for meet of yesterday and today? Good. Just as I said before, it's not in our character to say we move, but on the basis of the best products that can come from my party, is a man who told us that he was going to do one tenure and that is filled with integrity and he ends up not doing one tenure, meaning he has lost it. Is he the system that we now obey court order? When we say we want to create change, that we must do things differently, that we enhance the federal republic or the people as it were, up to ECOWAS court order, you will now obey. 
Is that the thing we are looking for? Now somebody told us, I wish I was younger. I would have performed very well. Now you are even older. Four years older. Now you think you can produce. Or you cannot do what you have not done before. No, he said it himself. We didn't say it for him. That was why minds like me wanted a younger spirit. You know, to come. But since it's not coming, we must have an alternative and look for people with energy. Let's talk about you and what you want now, Good. Uh, Comrade uh, Amadi. You have moved to the other side, which is the PDP. Yes. Over time, the PDP had spoken up against the APC in this area, in that area. Let, let's focus on, let's move away basically from the primaries held by the APC and talk about the convention that produced um, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar as uh, your flag bearer now. Do you think that process set a better example vis-a-vis -vis the primaries conducted by the APC? Because there were, there were serious allegations as to how money, how currencies were being shared to influence the delegates at that convention. So if there's anything to go by, because it's an allegation, but if it was anything to go by, what better example does it set uh, uh, as against what uh, we, we've seen you. the APC do uh, recently? Thank you. Mm. Um, Nigerian policies are this way, very expensive. To run for an election in either the ruling government or the main opposition party is very expensive. Mm. And it costs fortune. So, on the issue of allegations, on the emergence of article, mm. as it were, uh, in democracy, lobbying is part of democracy. So, even if you have to. I am coming. Even am, if there has I to be. I am coming, sir. Yes. When you say he lobbies, mm. understandable. Every candidate must lobby. The, um, for President Bari to come at the first time he came. There were a lot of lobbying. There were many governors that came together to make sure he succeeded. Otherwise, if it was just him, then Kwakwaso would have defeated him. But there were push, push, and strength. So for Atiku, if people uh, say money flow, where was the receipt? Does anybody tender the receipt that Atiku used in pay? Or is there a video to show where Atiku was giving out money? This is you know, there must be something to be said. You understand? So, you, because we must substantiate and we must prove when we allege. Now, they are all allegations. Now, we're among any candidates of the PDP who contested with him. Have you seen them come out to say, oh, Atiku was paying money and we did not pay money? Okay, so it's a game of... As long as they don't is come out. It's a, it a game of one, as long as they didn't come out, mm. which of course checks out if you ask me. But, but then again, you're saying, uh, since they allegedly did the same thing, they didn't have yeah, the moral justification. I am coming, no. Yes, yes to, I'm, I'm, to I'm, swing I'm, fingers I'm going to at the flag bearer. What I am saying... That's mm. PDP for you. Is there any among those who contested with him mm. that have come to say Atiku paid money and we did not pay money? No. And as many... There is no proof to show that money was paid. And beyond that, it was a delegate system of voting. So what if it was a, what if, if it was a case of the highest bidder, as I say? It was a case of the Now, bidder. if it was a case of the highest bidder, which we cannot substantiate. Of course. People can take your money. We have seen it happen before. We have people pay huge amount of money for electorate to vote for them. They take their money and yet they don't vote for them. Because it was open, direct primary. It was not a system where you vote, everybody sees who you vote for. So it was left with your conscience. So there was no way in a contention, other persons wouldn't have lobbied. Mm. So if you choose to waste your money, you would spend your money, you could see the acceptability. That is what drives a process. Did you see any among those candidates or delegates who were fighting, who were throwing stones at each other to say a certain delegates were not allowed to vote? No, it was so transparent and interesting. I am not saying they were perfect, but to an extent, we saw a democracy in action. That is why someone like me is embracing that process. You see why people embraced President Muhammad Buhari at the time he came, even when Nigerians said, oh, let's just try another party. The primary that brought him, the primary that brought him was seen to be free and fair. I am sure he also paid money then, if I think we paid now, because it was almost in the same process and in the same manner that every other aspirant, they didn't have a choice but to concur because they saw that it was a system that went free for them. Mm -hmm. we have come Though after the which many of them now had to leave him because they knew that he is not good at keeping to agreement, including to the Nigerian people. 
a government that will use six, seven months to form an ESCO. It was an error for a system that will die in need of leadership. And we think Atiku can articulate to create a leadership. While we are waiting for that to happen, let me come back to you quickly now. We have had democracy uninterrupted for 18, some 19 years already in this country. We've had primaries severally in between these experiments, as some persons have called it, that we're having right now. Are we really having primaries within our political parties, or is it just a case of consensus and pure imposition? Well, if you, you rightly pointed out that the PDP primaries were, there were allegations of um, inducement. Yeah, that's public knowledge. Now. Public knowledge. Mm -hmm. That there were allegations. Mm -hmm. my, my comrade has now decided that, because this is typical of people who go back to their vomit, that who alleges must prove. All of a sudden, he doesn't want to discuss the issues that are germane to the emergence of his so-called articulated candidates. It is public knowledge, it is in the public discourse that money was freely shared, that the highest bidder emerged as the candidate for that party. So to come back and now say, you don't, he who alleges proves, I mean, that is hypocrisy. We must take a standard and we must I believe that that standard is the best standard that works for everybody. The party primaries that we are talking about, or that he's, he refers to, mm. has been adjudged as the poorest that this country has ever had. But it depends, it depends on who is judging. Exactly. Mm. And if you are judging from the outside, and you see a case where the only thing, there was, there was nothing like articulation of their policies, their manifestos, it was simply a business transaction that went on there. That's why there were no fights. You get a bunch of people who are totally uh, in tune to a system, that is a perversion of the system. There will not be any fights because they are only trying to get the best for themselves and to leave that place. Okay, so we cannot go to that. Do primary now, at all, to go back, other people, is that one the go, better one? Like APC, for example, if, who do you not allow if, people to buy from with them? I allowed you to speak. I was just speak. going to finish, make up okay, his point. Okay. Uh, please, by I allowed sorry, you to sorry. speak. Mm. So now we've come to the point where well, I, please we, uh, refresh, we refresh me. You, you, you were talking about how that is just a matter of coming to buy, exchange, get yeah. the best for themselves and leave the place. Yes. So it wasn't a process that was expected to be free and fair. No, it was wasn't correct. expected to be mm. free and fair. Mm. The outcome was predetermined even before the event. And we don't have that problem in the APC. We have transparent systems. That is what throws up all these contending forces mm. that we have to come back to and see how we can align. So you are saying the APC system is free and fair, then of course it's I'm transparent. I'm saying it is much, it's much better, it's more transparent. But can you categorically it's, say it is transparent, it is free and fair? I can say it's a hundred, to the extent that a human mm. system can be transparent. It allows all the voices to throw their hearts in and see if we can bring out the best results. That is what we always try and do in the APC. We don't have money conventions where you have people running about in thousands of dollars. We don't have conventions where you have people going and making speeches that the only interest is what you can get, when you can get it, and how you, quickly you can get it. No, that is not what the APC stands for. And it's, it's, I would come back to say, when you talk about a system that you say infrastructure has degraded to the point where in three years you are saying that you want to go back to where the infrastructure was degraded from, where the problems came from, where the lack of funds came from, where the impunity originated from in three years, and you are now saying that the system is so bad, you want to go back to that point, then it is definitely not for the interest well, of other going, people. We are going to it's take, for your personal interest. We are going to take a break uh, in, in a bit, but just before we take that break, uh, let me just ask you this. I mean, off camera, you and I talked a bit, yes. and then you talked about how that you were moving uh, from the indirect to the direct uh, form of primaries. Yes, correct. That's posing a whole lot of challenge for your party, as we can see now, isn't it? Yes, but the, 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 the leadership of the APC has determined that as much inclusion as possible is the ultimate gain of any democracy. Mm. So that when you have candidates, you have more or less the voice of the people. Right. So you have taken away the power to install people that are favored candidates mm -hmm from the indirect party system right. and use the direct party system where any card carrying member of the party is allowed to vote for the candidates of their choice and by wider extension the more popular candidates and the more acceptable candidates 
Of course, in any system where you move from a, 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 a status quo that has been entrenched and established, mm. there are bound to be conflicts, there are bound to be mistakes, mm. there are bound to be errors. These will be corrected over time. But in the overall interest of popular democracy, mm. the system of direct primaries will come to stay in the APC. All right, so let's look forward to that, and I hope it turns out the best for not just the APC, but ultimately for Nigeria. Your last word, uh, Comrade Colin Samadhi. Yeah, I, I do believe very well in the Nigerian project. Okay. And I am hoping and I am praying uh, it's not still too late, even if the president may not win the next election, but he can still help to set Nigeria in the right path. Mm. Because Nigerian is not, is not a monopolized thing. Mm. It's not one person's thing. Do things that you will be remembered after now. You know, help us to build institutions. Help us to do things that after your, your reign has come and gone, by the grace of God, hopefully in 2019, mm -hmm. when he would have considered, we would, be, we would be sure to say, oh, he did this, he did that. Based on this, we are appreciating him. Just the way he's also now appreciating President Gulag. Jonathan, you know, for setting a pace, even if you've never seen anything good in Jonathan's administration, which I was one of his critics anyway, mm. you know, of Jonathan's government, but at least everyone has agreed to the fact, even Mr. President, have agreed that he had led a legacy, mm. you know, that anyone cannot just beat just like that. Okay. But I'm believing that he will also stand on that pedestal because the Nigerians on the street are already saying goodbye goodbye and goodbye uh, we can't know that until the 2019 uh, oh yes elections. we can't know that yes and I've, 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 been, I've been concluded but gentlemen i want to say a big thank you to you two uh, for having to take out time to join us on the thank program this morning us. we do appreciate it uh mahmoud ahmed thank uh, politician you, thank you for coming thank you and Willi. then comrades uh, collins amadin former ssa to immediate past governor of those states we are grateful for your time thank you with much. us on the program and uh, we're just going to take a quick break on the program and then uh, we'll push the second conversation right here on tmi do stay with us Thank you.